So guys, um, welcome for our fifth tutorial. So today we are going to talk about um, basic operators. So the plus minus, multiplication, divide, and module, and others. So sulat natin guys yung basic, uh, that basic startup ng C language, ng C program natin. I recommend you guys na isulat nyo guys ang um, kada when we start our lesson na uh, sinusulat nyo mismo yung basic na uh, startup ng C program natin. At least kasi when you write it down, nagsisink in sa utak nyo at the more na mas matatandaan nyo sila. So, yun. So, let's start with addition. So, paano nga ba ang pag-add sa C? So, yun guys. Um, let's just declare um, example. Declare a variable equal named A equal to 2. Semicolon, then int B is equal to 4. Then, gawa ulit tayo ng variable kung saan natin store yung result is equal to A plus B. Actually guys, pwede naman siyang gawin na ganito. Uh, C is equal to A plus B. Pwede naman niyang gawin yung ganyan. Pero, ay, gagawin ko ng ganito para at least diretso na tayo. So, yun. And then, let's print out our answer. What do you expect? Yes, our format specifier, percent i, because it's in an integer. Then, so, it's 6. Because our value of a is equal to 2, and our b is equal to 4. So, 2 plus 4 is 6. So, yun ang magiging value ng integer c natin. So, Change lang natin guys yung symbol, then for subtraction, um, it's negative 2, cause 2 minus 4, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 4, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So, then for the multiplication, it will be 8. See, 2 times 4 is 8. So guys, for division naman, so when we divide, so guys, Eto, listen carefully guys. So, 2 divided by 4, ilan siya actually? Um, yes, tama. Na-compute ko na kanina. <laughs> so, 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5. Right? So, when we run this, actually guys, magbibigay siya ng 0. So, yun nga, bakit, bakit siya ng 0? Um, remember guys, when I talk to you about data types na low double double cross 0.5 is actually a double so yun di sila nagmamatch yung data type kasi when we divide lalo ng ganit lalo ng sa case na to we are expecting um we are expecting a, a double or a float data type na result so i recommend you guys when when you try to make, um, pag gumagawa kayo ng mga formula in C, tapos ang expected niyong answer, you are expecting na answer is real number, may mga 0 point something, 1 point something, it's best to make everything, mga variables niyo, to be of type float or double, of type float or double. Of course, the change yung specifier. It's better to make them float or double on, di ba? 0.5. Kasi guys, eto, just listen. When we say float x is equal to 1 and integer for example, c or w is equal to 1. Di ba? They are both 1. They are both 1. They are both 1. Pero, deep inside guys, somewhere in a somewhere sa computer memory. They are different. Okay ba yan? Because of the data types. The other one is actually float and the actual is inti actually integer. Magkay ba yan? Pero pareho silang one. Pero deep inside guys, they are different. Kaya when you try to when you try to make computations na magkay ba yung mga data types, yun. You won't. Minsan, hindi mo na-expect yung ganyan pala yung answer mo. Kaya guys, recommend na when you try to 
when expected nyo is real number na result, so better make it everything na low. So, yun lang naman. So, I just comment this out guys. And for sasunod, so for our next ano, um, gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo na itong ano nga ba itong plus plus and minus minus. Uh, for example guys, let's make an int a is equal to 2. Then, we say that a plus plus Ano nga ba yan? A plus plus na yan. Ibig sabihin, what we call that guys is increment. Ang tawag dyan is increment. Ang ibig sabihin lang naman yan is add 1, add 1 to the variable. Same as ganito. Um, a is equal to A plus 1. It means that A, our new A, the value of our, the, the value of our new A is equal to A. Oh, why? Bakit dito? Sorry. The value of our new a will be is equal to a, which is our a is equal to 2, plus 1. So, yun. Print natin guys para mag So, send i a. So, send i a. So, ayun. Um, 3. So, let's 3. Kasi add 1 lang naman yan. Yun lang naman. Then, also guys, the... Meron pa niyan yung a, a minus minus. So, tawag naman dito ay decrement. Decrement. Tama ba guys? Spelling ko. Okay, correct na lang. So, just means guys na a is equal to a minus 1. That our new a will be equal to a, which is 2, is equal minus 1. Which, we, which will be equal to, oops, oh, Ah, sige. Kalimutan ko yung holy. Iba guys, syntax error yan. Alala nyo, syntax error. Kalimutan ko kasi yung semicolon. So, 1. So, it's 1. Then, <coughs> excuse me. So, yun. Actually guys, ang um, tatanong ganyo, parang saan nga ba itong mga increment at decrement? Actually, ginagamit yan para sa mga loops. Yung tinatawag natin na for loop. Especially yun and for loop in C. So, don't worry guys. Um, I know na it's a lot to take in yung mga information pero don't worry. Um, Hinahinay lang kayo. Uh, Magigets nyo yan. So, yun. Um, so, our next ano is about module. Modulo. So, pasan nga ba ang modulo for example? Ang modulo guys is it is an operation para makuha yung remainder when we divide. For example, um, comment out ko lang to guys. Ay, wag na delete ko na. Ay, comment out ko na lang. Para at least may guide kayo. Kung sakaling gusto nyo makita ulit. Yan, sa comment out lang. Then, saan nga ba ang module? Modulo. So, for example, when, when you have an integer, a is equal to 10, and int b is equal to 2. So, so, wait lang po guys. So guys, um, I'm really sorry. Um, may kailangan na kasi akong puntahan. Um, so yun, let's go back to it. So, I'm just talking about module, modulus, right? So, yun nga, when we have integer a is equal to 10 and integer b is equal to 2. So, gawa ulit tayo ng variable kung saan natin pwedeng ma-store. For example, integer C is equal to A modulo B. So, ano nga, bang, ano nga bang ibig sabihin yan? So, actually guys, remember when we divide, for example, 10 divided by 2 guys, ilan? 5, di ba? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 5. Then, let's print it out. Um, actually guys, wala naman remainder, di ba? 10 divided by 2, wala naman remainder. Kaya, we would expect the answer to be 0. Kasi nga, walang remainder. See? 0. Let's try um, 3. 3. 3. 3. Then, then, compute natin guys. 10 divided by 3. Ilan? 3, 6, 9. It's 3. 3 point, may, may sobrang isa. So, yun guys. Yung isang yun, yun yun yung value ng C. C natin. Yun yung 
yun yung purpose ng module para makuha yung remainder. So, tinan natin. Then, C, 1. Diba? So, comment. Lagay tayo ng comment, guys. Uh, modulo, modulo is for getting the remainders. Yeah. It's always a good practice, guys, to put comments para at least reminder nyo. So, yun. Um, tatanong kayo, um, para saan nga ba ang module, modulo? Well, actually, guys, sa mga susunod na tutorial, bigyan ko kayo ng isang challenge actually at, at gagamit kayo ng module so relax lang darating tayo dyan so again guys comment out ko lang to and, and comment out ko lang yan para at least may guide kayo so sa comment out nyan guys totally ignore dyan ng C um, so our last but not least is our PEM the the arithmetic um, yung guidelines yung parang rules the PEMDA so actually guys in C sinusunod niya yung sinusunod niya yung rule ng PEMDA yung for example um uh, integer uh, result is equal to 2 times what if may mga multiple kang ano uh, 2 times 1 plus 3 oh 1 plus 3 divided by 2 so parang kung ganyan di ba yan Diba ginagawa natin yan sa school? Yung alin yung nauna, then alin sino ang last, di ba? Kaya nga, PEMDAS nga. Yan din, yan din yung ina-apply sa C. So, let's print the answer. So, dollar sign, I dollar sign, I, and the variable, result. Then, yun. So, let's, i-compute lang muna natin guys uh, manually. So, Alin din guys ang mauna? Siyempre, yung parenthesis, di ba? Kasi PEMDAS. PEM, PM, PEMDAS. So, 1 plus 3 is actually 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. Yes. 1 <laughs> plus 3 is 4. So, alin ang sunod? Multiplication or division? It's either dyan kasi nasa same higher same hierarchy sila guys or it's either sa same level sila pero in our case unahin natin ang multiplication so one, 4 times 2 is 8 4 times 2 is 8 then divided by 2 divided by 2 we get the answer of 4 so we are expecting an answer of 4 yes it's definitely 4 so, yun guys, kahit ilan pa yan, kahit ganyan pa yan, ganyan pa yan, 1 plus 2 plus may times 3 ulit, divide by 3 ulit dyan. Basta, susundin nyo lang yung rule ng PEMDAS, P-M-D-A-S. So, yun guys, um, that's it for this evening. So, thank you guys for listening. I hope na may natutunan kayo and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.